that under all circumstances I remain equanimous. Sit Pragya, as highly praised in our Gita, Lord Krishna says, this is a beautiful state. We earlier talked about the point C. Please recollect that where likes and dislikes are absorbed. And accordingly, based on liking for the worldly things or dislikes, or likes and dislikes for the opposite sex, the vibrations are sent to respective uh, centers or chakras. A point is the one where all worldly related likes and dislikes settle from C. And from the C itself, if those vibrations were related to opposite sex, sensual desires to be fulfilled, then they settle at point B. But what if C remains, the point C, remains unaffected by the likes and dislikes of this world, whatever it be, like a lotus which is unaffected by the surrounding. This point C remains unaffected by the surrounding because of this inner consciousness that we have cultivated. Then life takes a different meaning. Then I don't have to clean the impressions or the samskars that I have gathered on a daily basis. The beautiful thing about Sahaj Marg is one is able to get rid of the samskars or daily accumulations of our actions or karmas. When such is a lifestyle where one no longer requires to remove this, because he is not committing anything, he is not committing any sin, he is not gathering any impressions of papam or punyam, he has gone beyond all these things. Then where is the question of being reborn to face the good samskars or bad samskars? I am not worried no longer about my karmas, because karmas have no effect on my point C. So beauty of this meditation, again I cannot help but praise it so much, please try it and make sure that we cultivate such a high order of lifestyle, that even meditation becomes redundant, cleaning becomes redundant, even prayer becomes redundant, because we become meditative and we become prayerful. We become simple, we become purer. Then for what will you meditate or do the cleaning? It's redundant. So we must arrive at such a state that all this worship becomes 24-7 actually, with open eyes. Life becomes worship. We don't worship any longer for a fraction of a day. But the whole life becomes worship.